Yeah, thanks for saving me. Who are you? Wouldn't it be polite if you told me your name first? If you're right, I'm John Mayer, ERS. Rescue Squad? How do I know you're not a creature? I could ask you the same question. I'm coming down. Do I look like a monster? <laughs> In a way, yes. <laughs> I'm Anna Lawrenson, DN Company Diver. What are you doing here? Returning to the CCD area. The area lock is broken. It can't be repaired. But there is a way in. How? Easy. Torch the area lock panel and rewire it. Where can I find a torch? Find it yourself. I'm busy looking for Rambo. Rambo? A bulldog. My companion. I usually let him roam around here. If something happens, he usually returns right away. But in these conditions, I'm worried. So, I don't have time to talk. Bye. Thank you for saving me, Sheva Olimar. Um, anyways, though. <clears throat> Item through here. Yeah, she's not badly voiced. Alright, it's an apartment complex to explore now. That's fine with me. We also have what looks like Venus flytrap serpent dinosaurs attacking me, so that's fine. How does this map look? Alright, so we got like a few different areas. We got an elevator. I think the elevator is where I just came from, but whatever. I guess I'll start over here. In this tree. Nothing! Side of Medical Bay, do we have something to do with medicine? It's just a guess. I know this is where I just came from. Oh, I know it isn't. I thought it was. Nothing? That looks like a medical order from Resident Evil, I'll be honest. Oh, air grenade for the first time in a while and an emergency kit. Can't hold any more. Can't hold any more. Ah, there's a guy here. I just kind of noticed. Took me a second. I feel so cold. The medicine isn't working. Oh jeez, you got took medicine? I need to make you sick. Kiss me. There should be some ammo around here. Kill the monsters out there with them. Aha! Tell me there's ammo in here. I'll find this ammo. Oh. Ta-da! Found it. Even though there's stations I can get unloaded ammo from. Whatever. I need the R charge, but I took it anyway. A bulletin board. It says, be careful not to catch a gold. <laughs> Slap on the knee. Alright. There's a body structure thing here. We can't look at any more than that. Out we go. Next door over here, the BZ on the BZ B knees. Apartment area 1F. Kind of scary. So this doesn't really seem like much of an apartment, but I think I've only been to the medical bay. Maybe these will seem more like actual rooms. Or not. Or it could be. Like, fuck. Just a little area full of monsters. And my favorite things in the universe in one. Machine gun ammo. Nothing over here. I'm gonna go back to the medical bay after this and grab all the med packs again because I can take unlimited. Is there any purpose to this room? Should look at my map. Where I came from or a different area? I think this is a different door. I think, but I'm not sure. No, never mind. It's the. Was there even a purpose to that room outside of just being an annoying monster circle? I'm gonna look one more time. I didn't actually find anything on the outer rim, so maybe it's on the inner rim. To be fair, I didn't really check much. Uh, 
I mean, this kind of looks like it's angled here. Oh, I've obtained the hamburger. They're out of hamburgers. Maybe I need the hamburger. Ha cha 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 cha. I kind of noticed the hamburger was highlighted, which is why I checked it out, but still. Now let's take all the healing items for myself. Watch as this guy is now going to turn into a monster the moment I come in here. Item. I'd like to use the bigger medical pack. Now I'll take everything. I can't carry any more first aid kits. I can't over here though. I'll take that. And see more unlimited first aid kits. Maybe there's some penalty for using first aid kits. Like at the end of the game, we're gonna be like, sorry man, you can't unlock this unlockable, you use way too many first aid kits. Just because we give you unlimited doesn't mean it won't affect you. Yeah, that's the medical bay I just came from, I think. I'll cancel for a second. Before I take it to the second or third floor, let's just look over here first. Take care of all the first floor exploration before you do any of the other floors. Given, I... Is that actually it? Have we already finished what we thought we were just starting? Okay, I'll go to the second floor next then. Gotta explore. The same elevator animation that's in every area. Must be a very popular elevator design into the sea. Up here we have a loading screen. Ah, I hear those lost raptor things. They're entered inside the women's restroom. Actually, it was a dog thing. Meanwhile, in the women's laboratory. It said women's on this side, so I'm a little bit confused. Alright, nothing inside any of the restroom stalls, and I'll look. Found a grenade, though. And a monster! Fuck, it stabbed me anyway. I was trying my best, I tried so hard. I think you gotta stop having the same type of monster bursting out of the roof. That's the roof is becoming a very suspectable place for these monsters to appear. There's the doggy. I guess it's a two for one restroom. I got a menu here. That means I'm gonna go inside and order from the mess hall. I'll take myself actually this is reminding me, I'm actually starting to get hungry. Ah, that'll come later. Here we have a place called the Gluten. Alright. Actually, what does it say about the phone? It reads, buy food ticket here. Ah, so it's like a food ticket area. It reads, buy food ticket. I think that's more of a Japanese thing than it is here in America. I've actually never bought a food ticket in my whole entire life. But in anime, sometimes it's food tickets, so maybe this is one of those lost in translation thing. They thought maybe American restaurants have food tickets too, but food tickets, I'm not saying they never happen here, it's just that they're usually very rare in my experience. There's magazines here. You can't take them with you. Well, that's a shame. I'll tell you that the torch is in the DN area. Come with me to the CCD area. It should be safer there than here. No. I don't like Navy folk. Besides, I have this. I'll return to the DN area. Your own area is the safest. I'll give you this. It's the DN area spare key. Use it. I wonder what would 
have happened if I came here without a hamburger. Alright, the end key. There's also a save station here. Or not, you can actually save there, you can only charge your R, but I can't actually, I don't need that yet. Oh, and a jukebox. There's a jukebox here. If I observe it 50 times, it'd be like a video game Easter egg. One of those Easter eggs where you can do something. The man needs a specific item on it. That's a shame that they will play from the jukebox. This game actually has some pretty good music. Uh, anyways, though. Going through here. We found the dog. We received a key. I, that was a pretty useful run. All things considered. Next gen Easter eggs. I love Easter eggs. Alright, now through. Fuck. Ah. Try it. Go inside the broom closet. That was a shower room icon? I, it honestly looked like a broom to me. Oh, I have limited oxygen in here. Better check the washing machines. And to the shower room. You know an enemy's gonna like burst from this ceiling here. This is so asking for an enemy to burst from the ceiling. I guess it was actually a broom in here. I'll give them credit. Nothing burst from the ceiling. Just because of the sound effects and the weird flash in this room, just how it's kind of designed, it's kind of creepiest room so far for me in the game. This game isn't really creepy. It's just it's kind of like an actiony Resident Evil. Is what I'm thinking of, which I know is ironic because Resident Evil has turned to an action franchise. But you know what I mean, like an actionier, old style version of Resident Evil. I'm not disliking the games. I'm just. Because it's a Resident Evil clone, it's easy to compare it to Resident Evil, and there's some uh, things which I feel like I could do better, but whatever. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm not like I'm hating this game or anything. I can see the shower now that I'm paying attention to it, but it just kind of looks like it broke to me at first. Elevator a go-go. Oh yeah, that's where I need to use that key. It was actually the elevator, it's this thing. the DN key wasn't working there. Maybe the projection room will help me out. Projection room, projection room, what will you show me? A projection room, of course. It's a video deck. If you have a videotape, you can watch it here. Thanks to that subtle clue there. What do you think we might find on a videotape where a projection room would be useful? A large video screen, probably for the entertainment for the troops. Ta da I'm trying to think of why my DN key isn't working. Maybe I should come back after I go to the third floor. So it's just that monster's gonna be right next to me and they go through here. Are those giant rats? I think this might be giant rats. Third floor I'll check out. up on this next floor of the building we will find if your answer was storage you'd be right why do all the storage rooms have such fancy icons make you think that they're important or something all right let's see You've obtained Anna's letter. You've obtained the weapon card for the shotgun, Shotgun B. Hey, rescue guys. There's no way you're going to get through those monsters with the weapons you have. Here's a weapon card for you guys. Be careful and good luck. Anna Lord Lawrence. Is that that girl I was with at the very beginning? Was her name Anna? I don't remember. I think it was, though. weapon card from that. Which of course now there's one of these right next to me. Uh, 
However, I need to. Do I need to use it like this? It's the end key thing. I guess not. Why do I have that device for so long? The end key won't work there. I should refill ammo for my guns right now, though. Oh, there's another area, I see. Yep, I'll set that as my special weapon. I will also take the time to recharge my bullets for this stuff. Bullets good. Yeah, we're good. And down here, same thing. Can I actually save my game and do stuff here? Yes, I can. I can restock my air, my charge, and I can save my game. I also understand the reason for the save numbers now. It's a way to determine what save spot you're possibly at. Anyways, though. On to the apartment area, 3F whatever passage. Now was some exploring. I'm hoping that I can find a place to use the DN key because I can't seem to use it in front of the door. They told me to use it, but I couldn't. Now I'm going to the men's room. That's where I get to be a man. Forgot that monster pops up. Uh, what the fuck? He... Well, thank you, Cthulhu. I guess we're fine. Now, I think we might switch gears after I get done with the apartment place, but I am determined to finish this area. I like to end off area, so when I resume in the near future, I'll kind of know what I was doing last time, and I won't have to be in the middle of something and try and remember exactly what I was in the middle of. And we've been playing almost for five hours now, so that's good progress. And this way... Now then, the VHS tape will be mine. Awesome. I'm starting to get hungry, so I'm like, uh, I'm not tired yet, though, surprisingly. I mean, I'm a little bit, but not by much. But those <laughs> are starting to really wear thin on me. Hmm. Even if I sort of... I'm not going to let that thing kill me again. Of course, there's two of them. Three of them. Now then, items. Use the end key. And through here I go. Sounds like there's a lot coming from in here, though. So, uh, yep, more of the, you know what? Sorry, let's do that for a second. Items, just, just keep this gun now. There's unlimited ammo for all the guns. That's new. Who the fuck are you? Oh, he's almost dead. Takes four mega shotgun blast. He looks like a fucking Yeti or Eskimo or something like that. Hey, one of those systems. Let's see what this is. Uh, just why are they giving, giving me stations that can only R charge? I'm not even using that anymore here. All right. On the other side of this room, we have a door. Which leads to another passageway. How many rooms do they call passageways in here? I mean, it makes sense, it's just a hallway connecting a lot of other areas, but still. Oh, 
I'm so okay, good, good. I can have a chance to heal myself. I thought that enemy killed me because I was about to heal myself. I um. Well, not the shotgun in time. Well, I just killed several enemies at once. And I can do my job well. <laughs> In the equipment room, while. Who is it? Who are you? My name is Ken Fujiyama. I work for the Shirahata Corporation. What are you doing here? I was collecting monitor data on my company's products. Are you from a rescue team? Yes. I was hiding built there a monsters. Have you come to save me? Yes, but I have to return to the CCD area. For that, I need your torch. Excuse me, but I can't trust you because you might be a monster. Let's make a deal. A deal? You want this torch. I'll give it you. In return, give me something I can use. I don't have any money. Oh no, not money. What I want is monitor data on the big gym. The big gym? Any pressure. Water diving wear. It's my company's latest product. I don't know where the monitor data is. I want you to look for it. Good deal. Don't you think? Okay, I'll look for it. Please copy it onto this. Wait here. That's a brilliant accent you got there. Kind of funny, but also kind of sensible. You've obtained the ammo. Got it. So he wants me to copy data down. Please go put the data into the ammo. I'll give you the torch later. So we're working for the flamethrower is what I'm pulling from all this. There is nothing useful here, so you think. Let's see... Anything? Oh, there's actually a second door here as well. This is probably the direction I need to go to. Yep, Big Jim's part room. Which sounds like it's underwater. You know, because of the setting, I almost forgot that we were actually under the sea. How could I forget that? Well, nothing here. I think the MO disc would have been flooded, because I'm not wearing any sort of thing to protect the items that I'm carrying. Then again, with that same sort of logic, the seawater must have leaked from this crack. That kind of makes sense, I guess. Um, but what I was going to say, though, you'd be kind of threading, like, all my guns would stop working because they're all underwater for so long. But, you know, whatever logic, I'm overthinking things. Does this actually serve any purpose? Can I actually go in here? It's the air tank lock of a big gym. Due to the water pressure, it won't open. Well, that's a shame. Back I go. Can't take any of them weapons, but it's probably around the direction they got the blowtorch from. At least they're trying. I see what they're trying to do. That's probably a useless room, but it's supposed to give a reason of why this guy is a flamethrower and why he came from that direction as a flamethrower. Alright, I'm just gonna explore more around here. This is where I'm thinking I killed all the big monsters already. Make my job a lot easier. Anyways, though. And in this hallway we have. I'm not gonna look through there first. Yeah, I knew there was gonna be something in this other hallway. Oh, wait, yeah, okay. In fact, more than one. In fact, it's an air grenade balooza. Holy hell, this is one of the most amazing finds ever. Throw an air grenade just for the occasion. I love this corner. Air grenades are so useful. I have to tune for my happiness. It's the communicator. It's broken. 
Ah, jeez, we have multiple monster room. This gun seems to have more invincibility frames than your normal gun. Ah, uh, never mind, I still got that. But what I mean by this is that he seems to take less hits when the monster's trying to punch you whenever you're shooting that gun. And on other guns, if you're reloading, you don't have invincibility frames, but this one seems like you do. Kind of interesting note. Okay, this is where you want me to use the MMO disc. I see, find out where it goes. At least I think it is. There's a lot of computers here, and there's nothing else in here. And there's monsters to fade the perimeter, so it has to be important for something, right? This is actually the first time in a while I actually need those uh, R things that kept on being useless to me. Communication, it's broken. I understand that. Am I looking for something here? Okay, shell box. I'm not finding anything here, and I'm looking. I'm looking really hard. I'm wasting air doing it, so I should be a little bit careful about this. I'll keep them asking the button though. Is this really for nothing? I, I mean, I guess it, technically I got shotgun shells. But, nah, this room was definitely not worth it. Maybe it comes to use later? No idea. Oh yeah, my favorite sound effect came back. I'm so happy. Alright, through here I go. Go to floor. You, you can bet I'm going to go to the second floor. Elevator, take me to salvation. Alright, down on this floor we have the same sort of things. In fact, yeah. D network area, big gym boarding room. Big Jim must have been a big fellow around here. I wonder if we're gonna meet him. Ooh, big old space marine shoes. I know this was like scuba suits, but <laughs> still though. And on these suits, it's Big Jim. With it, you can operate deep underwater. Okay, Big Jim is a scuba suit. It's not actually a person. I only just picked up on that right now. Obviously, it's an entrance pool for Big Jim. It leads to the connection park. Am I going to have to do this eventually? I hope I get to wear a big gym at some point in the game. Now you have me hopeful, game. Looks like I can obtain the data for big gym from this ter terminal. Which means this is where I needed to go. MO disc, here I come. Real invigorating CG cutscene. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything else around here that we need? Oh, there's actually a big old switch over here. Please tell me... Yay! It was an air system, I was really hoping. Which means I can get charged back on my regular air, and I can even save my game here. It's been a while. Not like a huge while, it's only actually honestly been about 15 minutes, but... That can make a big difference. Okay. Now, is this anything? If your answer was yes, you'd be correct. Because there was nothing. Which is the opposite of what I still. Yep. I'm surprised how many CG cutscenes this game has, but I'll be honest. Ah, jeez. However, though, I've actually learned how to fix this, and now I'm happy. I just have to keep on doing this. really hate that sound, I really do. I think I fixed it. Okay. Now then. Actually, this whole area now looks a lot brighter. The air system, yeah, I forgot the air system uh, like changes all like coordinate or areas, so it probably fixed all the second floor in terms of oxygen, the sector. Now, is there anything over here? I have what I need, but I'm going to investigate. Hey, it's Sheva! Now, if I go through here. Aren't you in a hurry to get to the OCD area? 
Don't worry about me. I didn't even know you were here. I'm actually surprised to see you're in this area. She's got bigger muscles than me. She must, yeah, she's got workout stuff all about here. You obtained the manual for Big Gym IV. Am I actually going to have to use one? Please tell me I have to use one. Model name, ADS Gym Type 4. Developer, Shirata He. Make, 1992. Apparently they're that old. Depth, 610. Height times, uh, weight. Our height times width, or 210 by 100. Weight is 235. ADS stands for Atmospheric Diving System. And is a term for deep sea, high pressure diving suits and armor. Gym Type 4 was developed by Shirahada Heavy Industries, and its most distinctive feature is that the whole suit is played with compound titanium, making the weight approximately 30 times lighter than its predecessors. Also, the thickness of the wall of the suit itself is much thinner. This allows more free and advanced movements of the joints. The left arm can be equipped with a detachable unit, say are you, which has an underwire brummer, rock scrapping device, or spear gun. In order to use Gym Type 4, the user must enter a serial number. Not only is this a security system from theft, it prevents accidents caused by certified users. The more one knows. So it sounds like I'm probably going to have to drive one, which or use one, which makes me happy. Nothing inside the garbage. It's not like going to be, speaking of Easter eggs, Wesker's, uh, Wesker's desk Easter egg from Resident Evil 2 involving Rebecca Chambers. She's probably high in the picture of somebody. Okay, she said COD, as in Call of Duty, not OCD, as in that disorder where you really have to check everything compulsively. In this storage facility, we find ourselves probably with monsters. I'm gonna bet this monsters, because there's another monsters down here. Where this area is safe, because she's here. She just says, never mind. <laughs> I have no idea how that worked. Uh, go here. Bullets for everyone. This looks like we're good. Actually, I should probably heal myself a little bit. Not with the VHS tape. Ta-da! Here we find shell boxes in the room that we can get unlimited ammo from. That's that, that's kind of silly. Hmm. Things to think of. Now that we have the whole system that that one Japanese accent guy wants, we're gonna go back to the third floor and give it to him. Just give it to him deliberately, and he will learn all about the deep sea diving suits he wants to know for his business, according to him. If this game actually has a sequel, would there be continuity involving them? Probably not. You know, that, that is actually probably kind of a far-fetched idea. It'd be kind of cool, though. Find some continuity in an area that people don't expect it to, except me, because I'm, I'm a forsightful person. I'm just making sure that he might die later. That's probably what's going to happen, too. He wants an MO disc, he's... Here. Thank you! Thank you! No, I can go back to my company. This is what was promised. Your company is fine, too, but you have to get out of here alive first. It's okay. Well, don't worry. My company's big gym is invisible. A torch for my troubles. Of his world domination. They probably just got someone from the actual development team to voice this guy. Banzai! Now I can go back to my country. <laughs> Sayonara, USA. <laughs> so cheesy. Alright, so this whole segment was just 
to get a flamethrower? Do I got this right? Wait, did the whole section just get flooded? Oh, I went in the wrong door. Ha, I'm silly. I was like, what? <laughs> no, I just was at the wrong door entrance. 